No surprise to us, but there's been a big show of support for a five-year-old boy with a disability whose very expensive specialty wheelchair was stolen. We first told you about him in our newscast at 5 o'clock yesterday. Taisha Walker is joining us live with the new developments now. Taisha? Bill, Christian's mom tells me that she lost faith in humanity when her son's wheelchair that they got from this company three years ago was stolen yesterday, but that was quickly restored through the help of some generous donors. Um, it's like a wheelchair for an older person, an adult, and then we went ahead and just got a car seat and kind of bungeed it in. It's Christian's temporary wheels. Nothing like the one thieves stole Tuesday. It was the fourth time the family's van had been hit. I leave it in the car. It's heavy and it's not ideal or practical to think that I can just take it in and out of the house every day. Surveillance cameras caught the back of the person who snatched Christian's customized wheelchair along with two car seats from the family's van. Another camera spotted the car driving away in southwest Houston. He knows his mama loves him. We first met the charming five-year-old who has a genetic disorder on Tuesday. After our story aired, Gonzalez says she received an outpouring of support from people wanting to help. Honestly, I've received um, several donors saying that they wanted to wrap it for him, um, customize it for him. One man who wants to remain anonymous offered to replace Christian's $6,000 wheelchair. We received a call from mom this morning that she had funding to go ahead and get a new order placed for a replacement chair right away. So we got somebody scheduled to go out and do the evaluation tomorrow. Gonzalez says the theft was a blessing in disguise and the money raised online by donors will help with his mobility too. And the mobility company tells me they plan to give the family a loaner wheelchair in the meantime that it might take three weeks for his new replacement to get here. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. That's very good news, Taisha. Thank you.